go ahead and go into my filming room slash makeup storage area. And I know what you guys are thinking. This is like ridiculous how much makeup is here and I'm aware. I was organizing my makeup the other day and I noticed these palettes, one NARS palette and then there's an Inglot palette that I have such big memories with. I saved up all my money and I went to Sephora and I knew I shouldn't have bought it, but after I felt so great, like I just was so excited to have this NARS blush palette in particular. And when I was organizing my makeup, I found the palette and I looked up and I saw this like ridiculous makeup setup. I just thought to myself like how happy and grateful I am of that moment then and like where I've come now and how fortunate I am to have this job. With that being said, I thought about that feeling I had when I got this makeup and I wanted to do a giveaway of makeup for you guys. I just wanna make it easy and fun. I'm gonna put a link to a Google document in the description box of this video and all you have to do is fill that out. I'm just gonna pick 10 winners and send out some makeup to you guys. So here is an overview Overview of my makeup storage. This whole portion of the storage system is from Ikea. It's actually an entertainment center. So, you know, you put a TV in the middle. I remember being at Ikea and thinking like, I don't want those little drawers. I need more space for bigger items, hair products and things like that. And I thought this would be perfect. I didn't really know how I was gonna make it work because you know, there's a huge gap in the center, but I was like, I will figure it out. Initially, I wanted to put like a shelf here and then put a vanity here with lights, that kind of setup. But I realized I don't really use a vanity mirror and I needed more storage than anything. So this is what I came up with. These are from the container store. They're meant to be men's shoe holders and t-shirt holders. I saw them and thought they'd be perfect for makeup. I like this system because I feel like it can grow as you grow. If you get more makeup or you need more, they're stackable. You can also buy dividers that go into the drawers and it sections off your makeup really nicely. So if you're at home and you want a nice looking way of seeing all your makeup, I think this is a really nice alternative. These run depending on the size. I will put the prices of these and also these, which are a little bit larger. Now I'm just gonna kind of go into detail on everything starting from over here and then working my way over here. First we have this side and I really liked these clear cabinets. You can also choose to not have them clear if you don't want that, but I thought it was kind of shishi. Here's where I store all of my makeup brushes. For example, I have blending brushes in here, flat concealer brushes, and I just used a label maker to put these labels on so that I know where everything is. I did have clear labels before, but if you use clear labels with these clear containers, you can't see what the label says. I had to like get up really close, like what the hell does that say? So in the first drawer, we have some backup booty blenders, just uh, semi-clean. I don't know, this one looks a little sus. I don't know if that little one looks very clean, but then we have highlight brushes, you know, just for the highlight, for the glow. I have some detail brushes in here, just liner brushes, basically any brush that's tiny, which is easier to have them all together. We have some spare booty blenders. I kind of keep these spare ones here because uh, my friends and family come over and they always want, you know, beauty blenders. So I have those there unopened for them. And then we have the blending brushes. This is actually one of my favorite drawers because blending brushes make me very happy. Then we have some flat concealer brushes. These are like shader brushes, concealer brushes. Moving on to this one, we have body brushes. I'll use these for like body bronzers because they're too big for my face. This would just be like my whole face here. Then I have large face brushes in here. Oh, shit, one time. Hello. There we go. And then in this last drawer, we have the small face brushes. So little blush brushes, under eye brushes, any tiny face brushes in there. And that pretty much completes this section. I have nothing up here on the shelf except a white fig candle that I never light because you can't light a candle in a dresser. So it's really there just for, I don't know, you just gotta have marble shit in your makeup room, I guess. All right, so now moving on. In here is where I keep all my face masks. I have one of these containers. A lot of people put lip liners in here, but I decided to put just masks in the top, some Tatcha ones, heart ones. In the next two, we just have a bunch of sheet masks. SK2 Charlotte Tilbury mask. I couldn't use this one because you guys know I have that cotton phobia, but I do have it here for when I have my friends over. Moving on to the next section here. We have body lotions 
and shower gels. It's kind of like a miscellaneous drawer. This one smells so good. This is the Orbe one. Oof, it smells really, really nice. Some Melanie Mills, like body shimmers, and this is a new bronzed goddess from Estee Lauder, which I really want to try. I haven't tried yet. Starting off with this side of the clear drawers. These are the larger containers. I believe these are called the t-shirt containers. I will definitely list everything in the description box for you guys so you can find exactly what they are. This is just hot new shit. Thank you, Katie, for that one. I put things that I know I want to try out or I have ideas for looks with these items. They're new. I don't want to mix them in yet, so I keep them all in there. Then we have bronzers. I love this drawer. And here we just have some NARS bronzers. I love NARS packaging, so I always try to kind of keep it together. I just think it's really pretty. Some Becca bronzers, Hourglass. There's some Too Faced back there. Stila, Mary Luminizer. I think in here I put all my shimmery bronzers, so anything that's gonna give you a glow. And then we have more bronzers over here. Some Selena's. I don't really use that one because Nicole Gerber's video, she said, you don't really use Selena shit, which is true. You to keep it pristine and then i have some hula bronzer and charlotte tilbury bronzer back there and then this is a large mark jacobs bronzer in the back with two two-faced heart shape bronzers below that i have foundations i recently got rid of a ton of foundations because i realized how long i've owned them and a lot of them probably went really bad these are kind of like the foundations that i've tried and i've liked and i want to go back to so in the front we have the MAC next to nothing. I have two shades because I'm kind of in between. And then we have just standard MAC Studio Fluid. We all know and remember this foundation. It's kind of a ride or die foundation for me. We have the Milani Conceal and Perfect because I like that one. And La Mer, also very nice. Makeup Forever is a standard foundation. I feel like this is really good for almost every skin type. And I also have the NARS Sheer Glow. Very pretty for a more glowy look. This Becca one, I haven't tried it yet, but I would like to, so it's there. In here I have all my stick foundations. Still haven't tried the new Tarte ones. They're not in here yet. They're still in shipping and receiving. This is the Hourglass Foundation Stick, which I love. HD Foundation Stick, which I like. I wouldn't say I love, but I wouldn't get rid of it either, so I must have some feelings towards it. Bobbi Brown. This is a foundation stick that I use to contour. I've been using it since I first started on Instagram, and I still love it so much. I use the shade Almond for that. And then in here, these are my drugstore ones, which are surprisingly some of my favorite. Aside from the Luminous Silk, I just love drugstore foundations. So the Infallible by L'Oreal. And then we have the Pro Glow, which I wouldn't say this one works for me as well as it works for Katie. I haven't really found my color. I think I just need something that's not so orange. It's a little orange for me, I think. Then I have the Fit Me by Maybelline. This is probably one of my favorite foundations. I would say this one and the Matte and Poreless from Drugstore are my favorite. I'm the shade 228, so I have them there. And back here we have some Naked Skin. Urban Decay foundations, the one and done, and the more full coverage one. And then I also have powder foundations by MAC back there. If I'm breaking out on my cheekbones, I contour with that because it gives more coverage in those areas. And I like it. I like it a lot. Then we have the primers drawer. And in here we have the MAC strobe creams. I haven't tried these colors yet, but I really love the gold light. That's my absolute favorite. I pretty much wear it every single day on the skin. I wouldn't say it's so much a primer. It actually just makes your skin glow, but I keep it in primers because I kind of use it like one. So I have the Marc Jacobs primer, which I really love. Hydrating. The Too Faced primer is pretty hydrating. The new Elsie primer. And then we have the Tarte primer. This is one of my favorite primers for large pores. I feel like it just covers really well. I also put a small amount of this on my under eyes if I'm feeling like they're gonna crease because it prevents that too I don't know if you're supposed to put this on your under eyes It might be a little heavy, but I just put the tiniest amount always works for me That's like one of my favorites back here. We have some more primers hourglass NARS primers the Too Faced hangover We have makeup forever primers. These are some of the best primers. I think uh, they have one for every skin type So if you're looking for a good primer and you have a specific skin type you could always just kind of check their line. I think they're amazing. Their hydrating one's really good. And then in here I have some oils, some face oils. Um, this probably shouldn't be in here, but it is. You know how that goes. This is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector. Should actually be in another drawer, but we're gonna let it live there. This Lorac 3-in-1 Light Source Primer is so nice if you want that glowy face look. And then the back here we just have some milk primers. Have you guys tried these? I haven't really uh, tried it, like given it a fair chance. It's one of those things where I'm like, does it work? as seen on YouTube type of thing. This is kind of like my wanna try out have these primers. Moving on to highlighters. This is one of my favorite drawers. So these are like my main bitch highlighters. I have another highlight drawer over here, which is kind of like 
side chick highlighter. So in here I have MAC. This one is really good, it's the Oh Darling. So this is the Dior highlight that I really, really love, for Nude Air 003. And then in here we have the new Melt Cosmetics highlights and the new Dose of Colors highlights, along with some Ofra highlights. And then of course, shout out to Mac Daddy, have all of his Artist Couture highlights. These are really, really blingy, like boom. If you want a highlight, this is where you go. Over here we have Laura Geller, cause she is my girl. Liquid and stick highlights, uh, the Benefit, some Tarte. I haven't tried those, those are semi-new. Some Maybelline and L'Oreal. Charlotte Tilbury. I really like these iconic drops. They're pretty intense, but they look phenomenal if you just put like a tiny little bit. Mary Luminizer. This is something I've been using for a really long time. So we just finished this highlight drawer and then next to it, we actually have another highlighter drawer. This one has some backups of like some of my favorite things. And the next drawer, we have some blush palettes. And these are kind of just like cute little palettes that I like to keep in here. They're actually being held up by these letter holders or yeah, I guess they were letter holders. These are also from the container store. I just keep cute little blush palettes in here that I love the packaging of, the Benefit ones. This is the Urban Decay Gwen Stefani collab one. I met Gwen Stefani when I got this, so it's very special to me. And then this last drawer, we have good old Costco makeup wipes, Kirkland brand. Freaking love them. So as you can see, I make sure I stay stocked. Moving on to the next section, we have MAC lipsticks. Certain brands, I like to keep all the items together because I feel like when I think of a lipstick I need, I'll think, ooh, MAC Peach Stock. I'll always think of MAC first before the color, if that makes any sense. So I have all my MAC lipsticks in here and these little lipstick containers, and these are also from the container store. Below that, we have concealers. These are all my favorite concealers or concealers that I'm trying at the moment. Of course, we have Shape Tape in here. I love Shape Tape. Becca Aqualuminous Concealer. This is like the concealer I use every single day now. I don't want to say it trumped my NARS, but I feel like it kind of did because my no makeup looks this is like the perfect concealer. If you want that no makeup look or if you don't wear foundation and you just wanna wear a little bit of something, that one looks really nice. It keeps your under eyes hydrated, it's beautiful. This NARS one, I would say is like an in-between. Like this one is super sheer and this one is super heavy. In this back drawer here, I have under eye correctors. So if you have like dark circles or you have some redness, these are all the Make It Forever HD concealers and some Bye Bye under eye, which is really good. I basically put all my tubed concealers in here, like the Tarte Maracuja concealer. That's like an oldie for me. I used to use that all the time. I have like my backup concealers that are not yet opened. The blush drawer. And here I have all the blushes that are more so my go-tos, like my MAC one. All the NARS blushes together. These little dividers here are also from the container store and they go with the drawers so you could buy the dividers which are incredible for makeup. We have some Ofra blushes. I love apricot, uh, raisin. Those are like two of my favorites. The Natasha Denona. This is new. It's a duo glow. I think you can use it for highlight or blush. Hot makeup. This one was very well loved from me for many, many of month. That's why it looks like it's been some shit. These are all my colorful packaging blushes. The Too Faced and the Tarte are in here. Um, we have some Milani ones, some more Too Faced. And then these blush duos. And then I also have all my cream blushes back here, the peach palette and a little NARS palette back there. Oh my gosh. So this is the NARS palette I was talking to you guys about. This is one of the items that like I'll never let go because I spent a lot of money on it when I shouldn't have. And I cherished it so much. And I was like so excited when I bought this because it had a bunch of blushes in it. And I was so obsessed with NARS and their packaging. And I still am. I would use this for jobs in my kit when I was freelancing. And I just felt so official and very good Good memories. I hold on to it because it's just very special to me. Then I have cream to liquid glows. It's kind of miscellaneous. There's just some glowing things. MAC Lustrous Drops, the NARS Liquid Bronzer, some MAC Studio Blush Sticks, and then down here we have translucent and setting powders. Laura Mercier translucent, which is one of my faves. The Kat Von D. And then these are more like pressed translucent powders back here. So we have some Tarte, Monica Dar. Moving on, we have this drawer here, which is perfumes. These are like kind of perfumes I'm not wearing at the moment, but I might dip into to try. Poison Girl by Dior, which smells really nice. Charlotte Tilbury perfume, which is a little strong for me, but I like love the packaging, so I kept it in there. Some Prada candy, which is really sweet if you're into sweet perfumes. Giorgio Armani, this one actually smells pretty good. This is C. Next we have body basters, because you guys know I like to baste my body with glow. 
so I called it Body Basters. Really pretty Mariah Carey Body Bronzer, Body Goddess, Bronze Goddess by Estee Lauder. NARS Body Oils that don't give shimmer, but just make your skin look really glowy and hydrated. And this is the Natasha Denona Body Bronzer, which I love. In this drawer, we have highlighting palettes. We got Jaclyn Hill up front, some Carity palettes, there's a Nicole Guerrero palette in there. And then in here, we have contour palette. I love this drawer. Once again, I also have those letter holders in here. What's good about those letter holders is it holds different size packaging, which is nice. We have the new Urban Decay ones, which I haven't tried yet. We have Lorac Contour, Charlotte Tilbury, ABH Contour Kit. These are the new Natasha Denona Contour Kits, which are really, really nice. Some Sculpt Powder by Natasha Denona. All right, in these drawers, I kind of have them go hand in hand. This is the nude lipsticks drawer. All nude liquid lipsticks go in here. In this one over here, we have nude regular lipsticks, non-liquid lipstick formulas. We have the Maybelline ones, Marc Jacobs. In here, I have all my Dose of Colors lipsticks, Kylie. We have Marc Jacobs back there. Oh my God, I'm too little. We have the ABH Ofra and ColourPop in the back. So those are that. And then we have Mauve Liquid Lips. You guys know I don't ever wear Mauve. So why I have them, I don't know. But just in case for tutorials, I keep them around. And then over here, I keep my MAC Limited Edition Lipsticks. I like to keep them all together. I typically don't use a lot of the limited edition stuff. It's more like nostalgic, it's more collector's type of thing for me. So they are all in here and you know, I keep Selena up front. For these, I didn't label them because to be honest, I'm like, what do I call this section? It's like mauve but also brown, but also orange. So I just didn't label them yet. But these are my Kat Von D liquid lip, Dose of Colors liquid lip. All these colors together look so pretty. I wish I wore more of them. And then we have Ofra matte and then we also have the same tones of regular lipsticks in this drawer over here we have maybelline bite beauty i oh, love the smell of bite beauty lipsticks the tarte lipsticks these are really really good hydrating love those moving on to dark liquid lips i have all my dark liquid lipsticks in here Too faced abh Lorac, nars dose of colors they're all kind of like vampy or berry shades and then same thing goes with this darker lipsticks so vampy and berry shades are all in here i don't have dividers in this one i just have a two of those lipstick holders and then we have pink liquid lipsticks and pink regular lipsticks i also have more pink regular lipsticks here i don't know why i have so many pink lipsticks i don't even wear pink lipsticks very often but in here we have dose mac Too faced kat von d and then we have pink lipsticks all kind of separated by brand-ish. Bite Beauty, Makeup Forever, Smashbox, Maybelline, Milani, Tarte. And then, this is a miscellaneous drawer. It has a bunch of new items that I haven't gone through. It's like kind of a collection that I just stuck in there. This is red lipsticks, and then we have red liquid lipsticks. These are more like red slash orange. So I have all the oranges here. Then like the reds that are a little bit orangey and they get darker red as they go to the back. I love orange reds. It's like one of my favorite pops of color lips. Here we have some shadow quads. I just have a bunch of miscellaneous little, mostly matte collection palettes. There's actually not a lot back there. Here I have some more individual eyeshadows. Like this is also from the Container Store. This video is not sponsored by the Container Store, by the way. I just, I love going there to get stuff. They have like a lot of beauty things there. I don't like to keep a lot of single eyeshadows. I like to put them in palettes because it's just more convenient space-wise, but these are all ones that are just like, they're stuck in there, you know, unless I melt them off. Ain't nobody got time. To be honest, my eyeshadows aren't really that organized. They're not, like there's purple ones back there, bronzy ones here. They're not really by color, so I didn't label them yet. I'm not ready for the commitment. Same thing with this drawer. We have some more single eyeshadows. The MAC shadows, NYX shadows, hot makeup, Urban Decay. I love Urban Decay eyeshadows because they're so pretty and I really like the packaging too. That's pretty much it. Then I have my NARS single shadows and double shadows. I love this packaging. This is one of the collections NARS recently did and the packaging is like incredible. Oh, they probably have my favorite packaging of all time. It's so chic. Little NARS eyeshadows, they're so cute. So we have single NARS eyeshadows there. This is another eyeshadow drawer, very miscellaneous. 
This is my lip gloss drawer. I don't wear lip glosses very often. I keep the nudes in front because when I do wear gloss, that's pretty much all I wear. Everything else in here, lip gloss wise, that isn't nude, I pretty much just keep around for tutorials or special effects looks or anything like that. And here I have my YSL stuff that I haven't opened. Honestly, like it's so nostalgic to me, remembering the days where like I really wanted to buy YSL stuff but couldn't. And so I keep it all in here. I haven't opened it. So moving on to eyebrows, I have my more go-to eyebrow stuff in here. This is like brow backups. Pretty much this drawer is where I put new brow items that I haven't tried or backups of things that I may already have open. Here's like a bunch of some of my favorite brow backups, which is the Benefit stuff. My favorite brow pencils, gels, and then I also have the soap I use for my brows. If you haven't seen my soap brow tutorial, I used a different one in that one, which was also good, but this one is slightly better. Katie discovered this at a hotel once and it was incredible. In this drawer, we have my main bitch lashes. So Iconics, Iconic Lights, Queen Bees. Ooh, these are like all the lashes I wear on the regular. Iconic Lights have become my favorites, I think. I still love Iconics for more dramatic looks, but Iconic Lights just look so nice and natural and fluttery. And then the Queen Bees, honestly, they give me trouble applying them. It's like they only look really bomb when Katie helps me. So I have a lot more of those because I don't get to wear them very often. And then we have side chick lashes. These are like, you know, I like them, I'll wear them, but are they my number one? Not really, but I still like them. I have some other styles in here that I'm meaning to wear. Mask lashes right here. These are all fairly new. These are the new uh, Meraki lashes that I showed you guys. The packaging is so pretty. Um, these are also poppin. These are the Salon Perfect. They remind me of the MAC lashes, you know, the MAC 35s. Flutter lashes in there, Slayla lashes. These are the bottom lashes I like to wear. Precious, I also like Flutter. Next we have glitter liners. I also put some cream eyeshadow bases in here so it's not just glitter liners, color tattoos, Stila ones, anything that's really sparkly and cream based or liquid based is pretty much in here. In this drawer, we have eyeshadow bases. Pretty self-explanatory, not that exciting of a drawer. I have gel liners in here, also with the dividers, like everything else, just all laid out by color. And then we have pigments. I try to separate them by color, but they're just kind of separated by color. We have our glitter drawer here. Same concept, they're kind of separated by colors. Then we have the liquid liners, greens, blues, miscellaneous colors. So then these last two drawers down here are mascaras. These are all mascaras that come in like little packages. They don't have boxes, but I do put them in here. Look at this one has a B on it for Desi. That was really cute, I really like that. Here I have mascaras that are still in boxes. This is also another drawer that I keep for my friends and family to come over and take mascaras. Cause you know my little lash, have an ass, doesn't have enough lashes to use all this mascara. So there's that. Whew, that was a lot. Those floating shelves up there, container store, and I kind of just put cute things up there that I didn't have a place for, but I didn't want to get rid of the packaging. This is like the Maybelline lipsticks and the Charlotte Tilbury, and these are those NARS lip crayons. And then this is like something YSL sent that has mascaras in it with my initials. So now moving on to this cabinet over here on this side. So this is where I keep all my pencils, and these are like the best pencil holders because they have six compartments, and they're from Cosmo Cube. I have them over here too, so so I keep just all my red lip liners together and then I have like my nude lipstick liners, pink, and they're all broken up by colors in here. I know there's a ridiculous amount of nude liners. I know you guys are judging me. Here we have uh, the same type of drawer system, but these are smaller than these. These are like the tiniest ones, which are perfect for things like this. Setting sprays in here, more setting sprays, and more setting sprays. And then we have lip treatments and scrubs, lip balms, and brush cleaners, small tools. All my tweezers in here, scissors, sharpener, lash curlers, and this one is all of my makeup removers. And then I have my Kylie liquid lipsticks. I keep them in the packaging. I do have some open that I that I use more often, which I don't keep them in the boxes, but you know, I love the packaging. So that's it for that side. In this cabinet, we have all of the skincare. And I broke it up by brand, because I like the way it looks overall. I feel like it's kind of like a store vibe. And um, I also like to have it like this, because a lot of my friends and family come over and, and take skincare and stuff, and 
I feel like they really shop by brand, so I, I like it kind of looking like that. Like it makes me really happy when I open this. I have my SK2, my Tatcha stuff, La Mer, Juice Beauty back there. I, I love Juice Beauty. Dior, I haven't actually tried. These things are kind of new. Charlotte Tilbury and Tarte. I love my H2O. I love the SK2 stuff, Tatcha. And then I use the Stem Cell Cellular Juice Beauty Cleansing Oil. I love that. We also have some more skincare down here. This is like all the new Urban Decay line of stuff that came out. H2O stuff, some Neutrogena, Caudalie, Lancer, Mario Badescu in the back. Holla. So then we have this shelf over here, and this is just more eyeshadow palettes. These up here I keep basically categorized by cute little palettes, if that's a category. Just, you know, my Styled by Harouche palette. Ooh, ooh. My Tarte palettes that I love. This is what the Gwen Stefani palette, the packaging was incredible. Then we have um, all these little cute Too Faced palettes. They all fit perfectly and these are pretty thick. So the fact that they fit in here is really nice with a lot of space. I have the Urban Decay palette back here. The Kylie palettes are back there. It's the Dose of Colors, Baked Browns and Marvelous Mauves. Some Tarte, we have the Makeup Geek Manny MUA and then the, the Balm palettes back here, which I like, the Meat Matte Nudes. Down here, I have all these palettes together. These are the Dose of Colors palettes. I actually have an extra Hidden Treasure palette because that was limited edition and I loved it so much. I was like, I need to get another one. I have all of the Too Faced Chocolate palettes back here, as well as the Urban Decay Naked Series palettes. Those bring back memories as well. That's like the first palette. I begged Steven for Christmas one year and he got it for me and I was so happy. And then we have the uh, ABH palettes. They're all right here on this row. Makeup by Mario up front. And then other small little neutral palettes. This is the Minimalist palette by LC. This is a really nice one that you can like contour and let me open it actually. Oh my God, just kill me. These are just my tones, I love it. You could travel with this, use it for contour, blush, bronzer. You could use it for anything. That's what the purpose is. You just one little palette for all of it, which I like. This is one of my favorites for travel too. It's the Lorac Pro Matte. And then I have this really cute one. Makeup Forever made this for me and I thought it was super sweet with all my photos on it. It's just like a little custom palette with neutral shades. They must know me. They know I like that. Lastly, for the palette cabinets, I have this one. Uh, this is where I keep all of my colorful palettes. So we have the Kat Von D Pastel Goth. This is a Zoeva palette, um, the Urban Decay ones, Makeup Forever. We have a NYX palette, the Suva Beauty. This Pastel Goth one, this is super pretty, all of these colors. It's nice to have a pastel palette. I love this palette, the Alchemist palette. You guys have seen me use this in video. The packaging is so pretty and it's so nice for an inner corner highlight. The Urban Decay Electric palette, I did a very, very over the top video for them with this palette a long time ago and I love it. Uh, this is one of the new Urban Decay palettes too. Beautiful colors, love, put it back in there. Whew. Most of these bottom drawers are pretty empty and they're nice for room to grow. I think the only thing I have something in is this one and they're all Z palettes that I've made uh, with individual eyeshadows, old MAC palettes that I've created when I used to freelance that I keep here. You kind of make these palettes custom so it's nice to keep them all together. Whew. Oh God, you guys, that was, that was a lot. All right guys, that was it for my makeup storage and collection video. I love watching these videos on other people's channels, their ideas for storage and all the makeup. It just makes me really happy. And this is the first time I've done one of these. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to enter the giveaway, please. I'm so excited for 10 of you guys to win and I wish you guys all the luck. Also, I must, I must know, I need to know. What was your first makeup purchase? Did you remember it and how did you feel? Leave it in the comments down below, for favor. It's a special time, it's a special moment and I would really love to know your stories. Put them in the comments down below. See you guys in my next video. Adios. I don't really know what that's doing in there. We gotta get rid of that one. Oh my God, is this recording? Why is it on my face right now? Turn around. Hello? Oh shit. I think, I think Katie just arrived. Hey, Kitty! What are you doing? What are you doing? I miss you, girl. Hey, Junie.